What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Zeke Dog, and I'm back with another video. Alright, so this is my second time running hazmat. I got some flammable three back there getting loaded up. And uh I'm about to go ahead and get this stuff strapped down and we're gonna make it do what it do. I just finished strapping everything down. It took me about an hour and 30 minutes to get everything, but as you can see, she in there. Got my placards, flammable tree. I'm not, it's some kind of asphalt liquid. I see the sign, but I mean, other than that, let's see, asphalt, pipe, coating. So yeah. Whoa, I have never had this many barrels of bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> I ain't, I've had a, I had about six or nine barrels on here before, but this many barrels, whoo. I got everything cranked down, tight down. Got my paperwork. All right, so in case y'all don't know, when you get hazmat material, your paperwork belongs down here in the door. And it has to show what you're carrying on here with the hazmat paperwork above the bill of lading. Yep, show that information on here. I see what I'm carrying. I'm about to get ready to ride, cause uh, I gotta put this information in the computer, and your boy is rolling. Now my plan, my wish, is that I could deliver this stuff tomorrow. Yeah. That is that is what I would hope for. Best case scenario, tomorrow by 3 Eastern time I'm rolling in but the likelihood is very slim first of all this truck only going 62 miles an hour yep I said it 62 miles an hour 
So, uh, let's see, I missed the stuff way. 43,000. safe side. Let's just say 9 a.m. I like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. Will it be delivered on time? Yes, it will. And now I've sent that in saying I've got my shipment. Slide my paperwork. Right there in the door. Now your boy is compliant to uh, the Department of Motor Carriers regulations. Uh, now I'm about to get out of here and uh, catch up with y'all on the flip side. What's up, man? Uh, I last showed y'all at this hazmat load. Got a lockdown from the back of my truck. I had 1,004 miles to go with this load. 1,004 miles to go with this hazmat load to get it dropped off. I can tell you this. It's not an easy load. <laughs> and, and on top of that, I left it about 1.30 leaving Kansas City on Monday. About 8.30 local time out here in Virginia, next day, I pull up a thousand miles later, bam, just as I'm running out of time on my clock. I drove this baby good, I drove it hard. The whole 62 miles an hour hard. So, I pull in because the paperwork say they here till 10.30. So I'm like, well shit, let me see if I can get unloaded. They tell me you gotta come back in the morning. I'm like, come back, I'm here. I, what you want me to do? Oh, we got a lot down the street. It's literally one mile, I looked it up. I'm like, okay, mile down the street. I'll scoot down there right quick, park it, get back here in the morning. I turn the truck around and I started making my way up this hill because they were located at the bottom of the hill. And my freaking drive shaft comes out my truck. You can't, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Sitting here with a uh, with a with, with a load of, of flammable material and the dry shell. Yeah, man, I lost this whole freaking dry shell. I mean, I know where it's at, but uh, let me see if I can get y'all a, a better view. I don't know. It's nighttime. I got my my triangles out here.
sol. Won't let me be great. Boy, when I say this was starting out to be one of my best weeks. I was about to be sitting in four racks on Tuesday. Money to the truck, babe. And uh that ain't what's happening right now. I am in dire straits. You know, <laughs> I say it all the time. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Now, of these 1,004 miles that I drove, from Kansas City to wherever the heck Virginia I'm at. The majority of them was smooth. Gotta slow down on the curve because you got barrels back here. Man, this, this even being strapped down, you don't want to hit the curves too hard because they may the liquid may be may be slush. Kind of like when you're in a tanker. I don't know, maybe it don't slush, but this is my mindset. Either way it goes. Um, the last 45 miles of the trip, I was in Virginia, what I call back roads. Up mountains, down mountains. I put this truck to the test. It got me here, but that's it. It didn't get me no further. I gave it all it had. And now, stuff waiting on maintenance to get here. They telling me 45 minutes, but uh, let me see, they sending me a message now. Yeah, so, I'll update you. I gotta put some food in my stomach. I'm agitated. All I wanna do is make money. So, let's see what happens when they get here. next morning, probably dust, uh, because if you look out here, that's all you see is, is dust. I was on a road right behind uh, where this bridge is going up this hill, uh, as you see the top of my finger. Uh, that's where I broke down at. So, the guy fixed me up after a couple hours, and I turned the truck right back around, and when parked her at the bottom of the hill in the lot where I started out at. It still was a blessing because if it was gonna come out, it was gonna come out. So let's say I didn't, it didn't happen then. And I parked there, I came over here, I started getting unloaded, maybe picked up another load here. And as soon as I started going up the hill, I break down. That would have screwed up my next day, this day. So, it's the next morning, uh, <clears throat> I got everything 
I got everything unstrapped. waiting on this forklift guy to go ahead and finish unloading me. Uh, I'm going to send in my empty and potentially get a load right here, which will be a big win for me. So uh, we're going to see how that rolls and go from there. Thanks for y'all, you know, following me on my journey. And this thing's been, it's been wild, three months in, and uh, no regrets. Uh, I just wish I could move faster. Like I'm out here, I'm chasing the money, but I'm not getting to put myself in a situation to where I get to pick the money that I want to chase. That's the key difference. So, uh, you know, that's going to be coming. Y'all know Zeke Dial Truck, you got to gotta get started. Uh, I finally filed my LLC, so I got my LLC. I got my uh, EIN, and in another few weeks, I'm going to go ahead and open up my bank account and start building my business credit. So, uh, my regular credit, it's in a good category, and I wanna, I wanna make it, I wanna make it even better. So, there you go. Yeah, he gonna be slow with it. I got 24 pallets on the back, so that means he gotta take 24 trips. Unless you double stack them, but I don't want him screwing shit stuff up. So, uh, until the end, man, uh, y'all know what I always say keep it trucking.